Hello, and I'm back, and it's uh, a rainy day, November 12th, um, and I am back out on the Ninja, uh, wanted to make a ride to show, uh, I was going to go over to Cape May to show Cape May on a rainy day, because every day is not sunny and anywhere including Cape May but uh, I thought I would show anybody that views this something they can do with their kids if they're down in Cape May and it's a rainy day and you can't go to the beach and I thought there would be something that I could share that uh, parents might find useful as something they can do with their kids on a rainy day. It's, uh, as you can see, it's, it's, it's raining now, and I'm crossing the canal, <clears throat> leaving Cape Island on Seashore Road. This is the, uh, the road that turns into Broadway, and if you leave Cape May, and go out Broadway, it turns into Seashore Road, and eventually it will turn into Railroad Road. But uh, I'm coming uh, out of Cape May and coming into uh, Lower Township, and I'm going to make one stop on the way to uh, the place that I'm going to. There's basically two stops on this video that I want to make. <clears throat> the first is uh, historic Cold Springs. Uh, it's it's a uh, open air living history museum that uh, I'm not sure many visitors to the area are aware of and take advantage of when they're down here. Now, as I said, it's open air, so it's this is not the place that I had in mind to share with uh, viewers as something that they might consider doing on a rainy day in the summertime. But the second stop will be, and that is the Naval Air Station, uh, Naval Air, Air Station or Naval Air Museum in Wildwood, uh, which is on the grounds of the Cape May Airport. <clears throat> but first, the uh, historic Cold Springs Village which is coming up here on the right. And as I said, it's an open air, living history uh, museum. It has, I don't know how many buildings on it, maybe, maybe 30 buildings, but it's basically a setting that shows kids through demonstrations and lectures and walking tours of what life was like down in this area from the period of about 17, 1790 to maybe 1840 or so. <clears throat> Many of these buildings are uh, National Historic Landmarks, and here it is, and I'll make a few comments about it when we get in here. So. If you bring your kids here in the summertime, there's walking tours, there are demonstrations of things like uh, pottery and um, blacksmithing, um, all different kinds of crafts that uh, people at the time would have engaged in as part of life here. Uh, it's, uh, we, we've taken our our grandkids on it and they seem to enjoy it and right in front of me is the uh, Cold Spring Grange which is a restaurant uh, it's closed because of COVID uh, but it's a, another nice uh, you know sort of rustic indoor uh, dining establishment to consider visiting um, there is also a brewery uh, here on the grounds and the interesting thing about the brewery here is that it is a 
uh, non-profit brewery. Uh, all the profits go to the maintenance of this village. Um, I think they have, in addition to things like uh, showing kids blacksmithing and um, uh, I think they have t tin, tin making or tin smithing or I, I don't know what you call it, but all the kinds of uh, artisans and crafts that people you know would have engaged in at the time um, on the walking tour there are some animals back there like small animals uh, horses chickens things like that um, and there is also around Halloween a, a walking ghost tour so I'm not gonna uh, ride around this but I just wanted to show where it is and offer it up as something that you know parents might want to consider coming over here to uh, spend an afternoon with their children uh, if you want to get off the island and want something to do obviously this is not something to do on a rainy day um, and it's not raining very hard right now but it nevertheless is raining And back there is the brewery. I mean, you probably can't read the sign. I'll, I'll take a ride back. And this is the brewery. They moved this building uh, intact from someplace uh, further up the Jersey Cape. This this building, uh, this barn, this old barn, I think dates back to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 1802 or something like that. <clears throat> and they brought it down here. So again, this is the uh, historic Cold Spring Village. And now I'm gonna take a quick run over to the, uh, the Naval Air Museum. I'm also interested to see how this video turns out with uh, rain hitting the uh, camera lens. But another benefit of this is <clears throat> viewers get to see what it's like to be on the seat of a motorcycle while it's raining. So you get a perspective of what the uh, rider sees. going to turn here. I, I came down Academy and I'm going to turn on Shun Pike.
think this would have been another nice road to come on on a nice sunny day uh, maybe three or four weeks ago and these leaves would have been brilliant uh, yellows and reds and oranges and the sun <coughs> sun uh, rays beaming through the leaves it's a really nice little short ride but really would show the foliage uh, of the fall well but <clears throat> obviously you're not getting that perspective on this ride today this museum that I'm going up to <clears throat> is uh, It's, it's a, a museum in which they used an actual World War II uh, hangar and converted it into a um, converted it into a museum and <clears throat> there's it's indoors so you can go in with your kids and uh, they have helicopters and uh, and planes and a lot of uh, exhibits um, and a lot of uh, interesting things for especially little young boys little boys I think would get a kick out of this I know my grandson did and it's a good thing to do as I say if it's a rainy day and you're down in Cape May for a week um, and you obviously can't go to the beach if it's if it's raining and as a seashore resort community there's not a whole lot of things to do that are indoors so I thought this would be a, a, a good thing to show on a rainy day as the kind of thing that you can do down here to make use of your time. So I'm at the, uh, at the airport. And I've ridden back here before to show uh, Cape May Brewery is back here. <clears throat> but I'm not going to go past that on this ride. I'm just going to come right back to where the, uh, the Naval Air Museum is. And this is obviously not something like the Smithsonian or something like that. I mean, you're, you know, you're down in Cape May, for crying out loud. And this is the hangar right here. You can see Naval Air Station Wildwood. Um, and it looks like it's as luck would have it. There's some construction going on and the road is uh, closed off to me. <clears throat> so I had hoped to go down and go in the parking lot and show some of the some of the planes in the parking lot but this is the uh, museum this is the, the old hangar that they converted into a museum and inside there uh, there are as I said there are some helicopters and some some old jets um, that kids can sort of climb around and and have a good time and there's exhibits as well uh, and it's all indoors so in inclement weather it's a nice thing to do um, there's a behind that uh, construction equipment you may not be able to see but there's a, a little museum that they're putting up for uh, uh, forgotten warriors uh, Vietnam veteran museum you can see some of the old army trucks there and see if I can approach it from a different way.
here it is. And the entrance is over there. I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna get off the bike and go in. Um, but you probably can't make this out on the video, but I can see through the glass uh, you know some of the uh, some of the aircraft that are that are in there. And the sign shows museum hours are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. There's also a little diner over here uh, called the Flight Deck that uh, if you do come over on a rainy day and you want to want your kids to visit the, uh, the museum, you could actually uh, have breakfast over here at this uh, little, little diner in this, uh, in this white building. And there is the diner. So anyway, that's uh, that's all I wanted to do on this video was to show the um, show the uh, historic Cold Springs uh, Village as uh, you know, sort of a, an early 18th uh, or 1800s, early 19th century um, lifestyle and culture uh, for really for any any age might get a, a you know a kick out of that and then to come over here to show this as uh, give everybody an idea of something that you might want to do on a rainy day or not a rainy day uh, if it's something that you think uh, kids might enjoy uh, certainly don't have to limit it to uh, 
inclement weather. So that's it. Um, and if nothing else, you got to see what it's like to be riding on a motorcycle in the rain. So I think I'll, I'll head home and uh, post this video, see how it turns out. Thanks for watching.